I'm in Waterloo, Iowa, uh, watching Trump give a rally. And Trump stops the rally in the middle and says, come on up here, uh, people from this local Waterloo veterans organization. I'm going to give you a check. That's something I've never seen before. He gives them this giant golf tournament size check that says... Like a novelty check. Yeah, giant. Yeah, it says Donald J. Trump Foundation on the top, make America great again on the, on the bottom for, for $100,000. So he gives them this check, and they say thank you, and he goes back to the rally. So he's using his charity, basically, as a prop in his political rally. And this was, if you remember, a few days earlier, Trump had held this big fundraiser for veterans in Iowa. Right. He skipped had, the de Republican debate. I think he said he had raised $6 million. He said he raised $6 million right. total, and $1 million of it was his. So I see him give this big check to people. And I, I don't know anything about charities, but I know you can't do that. You can't. There, you, there's a law. There's a law that says that nonprofits like the Donald J. Trump <laughs> Foundation cannot get involved in political campaigns. Right. So this, now, what, what I, to me, I thought, what clearer evidence could there be that he's using his, his uh, charity as a prop? So that was one thing I was interested in. The other thing was I saw him give out these big novelty checks, and then he stopped, and he'd only given out about a million dollars. And he said he'd raised six, so where's the rest of the money? So I came back. I had no candidates to cover because all my other candidates were dead. Dropped out right and I thought, <laughs> all right, why don't I just spend a couple of days and figure out what happened to the rest of the money, figure out if Trump broke the law, and figure out what happened to the did rest of the money. Did you do this on your own, or did you go to an editor at the paper and say, I want to... Chase this. This part was basically on my own because I didn't think I was assigning myself something for nine months. I thought I was assigning myself for... So skunk work, and then if it made, you go to your, uh, you go to your bosses and say, look what I've got. Yeah, well, and thought, like, no, there's no way that... I thought I would call the Trump campaign, and they'd say, oh, yeah, well, here's the rest of the money. Because who would ever stiff veterans in the middle of a presidential campaign? Right. Who would say I'd raise $6 million and then not give it out? So, of course, they must have given it out. And so I started calling them to try to... And calling veterans groups to try to figure out where the money went. And it wasn't a couple of days. It wasn't an easy question to answer. It took me from... That was February 1st that I saw him give the check out. It took me until the end of May 